How's it going, everyone? After four long weeks of covering the holiday sale, it is time for a brand new sale, New Year Deals. I know we're a little bit into the new year at this point, January 17th. I don't know about you guys, but... I try to be a pleasant person, and even deep into January, January, it, was, it just happened yesterday, January 16th, I'm still wishing people a happy new year, so you know what, damn it, if the PlayStation Store want to do a new year's sale, I'm all for it, and guess what, they got north of 1,900 games discounted as a part of this sale, now we're gonna adjust it, we're gonna set it to just full games, game bundles, and premium edition, so some of the DLC will be filtered out, and that still brings us to 1,450 deals. And I'm already seeing some pretty good stuff right off the top. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to ask you guys, please like this video and do leave a comment with your thoughts. It really does help out the channel a lot, and it is much appreciated. So, let's just break it all down. We have Sonic Superstars, 40% off for $36. Came out at the end of October last year. We had called it before the release of this game that I was going to see a pretty big discount pretty quickly. It was on sale for as low as 30 physically, but even at 36 for a digital copy, pretty damn good deal. And it looks like they just added a PlayStation Plus premium trial for the game. A one hour trial, of course. So, you know, take that as far as you can. But uh, yeah, $36 on that. Resident Evil Village Gold Edition is 20 bucks. This deal is awesome. Resident Evil Village is a great game. The Gold Edition for a while was hovering around 30 bucks. I had said when the Gold Edition initially dropped that, hey, this is a great value, but it released at $50. Once it goes on sale, it's going to be a very compelling pickup. Well, now it's $19.99. You get the base game, you get the winner's expansion, you get the VR component if you do want to take advantage of that. That is a great, great value pickup, and Resident Evil Village is an awesome game, so highly, highly recommend it. Obviously, play RE7 Biohazard, play RE2 Remake, 3 Remake, 4 Remake, all that good stuff. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 20% off for $32. Sackboy Big Adventure is $19.79. Mortal Kombat X 499 Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy 1599, which is a pretty good deal on that. Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection is 60% off for 19.99. I think Uncharted 4 is great. You know, I know a lot of people were down on some of the narrative aspects to the game, and yeah, some of the twists and turns were a little bit wild, and, um, you know, in the introduction of Sam, you can think of him as what you want. I, I like Sam as a character, but overall, for 20 bucks, you get Uncharted 4, you get Lost Legacy. Uh, I think this is a pretty good pickup as well. Uh, definitely go play the Nathan Drake collection first, though, which is uh, on sale for the rest of today, I believe, as a part of the holiday sale. Goat Sim 3, $18. Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim Anniversary Edition is $20, which, you know, Skyrim to me is an all-time classic. So obviously I'm going to talk that game up, but yeah, 20 bucks for that. Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition, $9.99 if you're one of the two people that watch this channel and haven't played Horizon Zero Dawn. I highly recommend you to do so. I really like Zero Dawn. I've completed this game legitimately like six times. I've done three playthroughs on PC and I've completed it several times on PS4 and PS5. Like, it's a game that I really, really enjoyed. Horizon is the type of game that is right up my alley. I thought the story in Zero Dawn was excellent, much better than Forbidden West. Not to say Forbidden West's story was bad, but I think in the second half, gets a little bit off the rails, but... Nonetheless, HZD for $9.99, pretty good deal there, and that includes the Frozen Wilds expansion, of course. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl is $30. Bucks. Yo, the reception for that game was super, super positive. I remember leading into the release of that game, and I was like, okay, All-Star Brawl was fine, but All-Star Brawl 2 legitimately got like 8s and 9s out of 10. So, you know, if you're a fan of that cast of characters, you'll probably enjoy it. The Ultimate Edition is $48 for that. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot Legendary Edition is 60% off for $48. Now, you might look at that $48 price tag and be like, what is going on there? Well, it's because Season Pass 2 came out uh, actually in early 2023. Kind of wild. It's been a year since that drop. But uh, that Season Pass still has content that hasn't dropped and it came out for $40 and it extends the story and the Legendary Edition includes the base game on top of Season Pass 1. So it's a lot of content for your dollar, and DBZ Kakarot is an awesome game that I strongly recommend, um, but yeah, 48 is obviously a little bit pricey. If you've waited this long, I mean, what, is it gonna kill you to wait another year, another 16 months, and wait for that to be sub 20 bucks? No, it's not. I would just wait a little bit longer, but yeah, DBZ Kakarot is a great game, um, but I would more so say try to find the base game for like 10, 15 bucks. Next up, Dead Space Digital Deluxe Edition is $39.99. Way too expensive for that, given the Digital Deluxe Edition is absolute memes. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies Chronicles Deluxe is $40, which is wild. Like, people be down bad that hard for uh, zombies because uh, that's the only reason I would imagine you'd be picking up Blobs 3 at this point. Teardown Ultimate Edition is 40 bucks. 
Call of Duty World War II is 1979. Black Ops 4 is 1979. Naruto Storm 4 is $8. Detroit Become Human is $9.99. Great deal there if you're remotely into narrative driven titles. That is a great, great game. A lot of interesting thematic choices as well. Just really enjoyed my time with that. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 is $4.99. Metal Gear Solid 5 The Definitive Experience is 40% off for $11.99. Now, what you guys may have noticed is all of the MGS titles have appreciated in price. I know on PC, like Metal Gear Rising all of a sudden, uh, it used to go down to like $5 or $7.50 and uh, in the latest Steam sale it was like $18. I believe the reasoning for this is, this is my speculation, is that uh, Konami is gearing up for the release of the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 2. MGS5 is going to be included in there. So they don't want to lessen the value of MGS5 that much by offering it for like $4 like they had. Um, instead, they appreciated the price point to $12 or $15 or whatever. And um, by that, by doing that, once they add that game to the collection, people can be like, oh, this is a pretty good value. That's my speculation because I just feel like timing-wise, it's a little funny that all the Metal Gear games have gone up in price um and i do expect that metal gear rising to eventually get a remaster or at the very least it's going to be in uh, volume three of that collection if they do do a volume three because they can still throw some stuff in potentially to a volume three if they do do that uh persona 5 royal is 30 bucks i mean it's p5r it's considered to be one of the best jrpgs legitimately of all time hell screw it a lot of people will say it's one of the best games of all time so 30 bucks for that is great given that you get you know 80 plus hours of content it's going to be a worthwhile uh investment call of duty ghost is 1979 the only thing about ghost that stick out to me is the credits and the uh song that was attached was it survival by eminem i think it was survival but Nonetheless, paying 20 bucks for COD Ghost these days is wild to think about. I played that at launch on the PS4, though, and I had a pretty good time with it, but... Man, that's over a decade ago, and it's still going for $20, which is wild to see. Resident Evil 5 is 5 bucks. I mean, RE5 is good. It's probably going to get a full-on remake, but, you know, if you want to play the original, $4.99 for that is pretty good. AI is kind of uh, atrocious, so keep that in mind. COD Remastered, MW1 Remastered is 20 bucks. Little Nightmares is $5. Cult of the Lamb, $15, which that just got its Sins of the Flesh update, I believe, today. And um, that was a sizable free update, so you can check that out. Batman Arkham Collection, $6. Always going to be a steal. Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and Arkham Knight. Highway robbery for that deal. If you don't have any of the Arkham games, that deal is an absolute steal. Given all of the content that you get, uh, it's a worthwhile pickup. Resident Evil 3 is $9.99. Nowhere near as good as the RE2 or RE4 remake, but still fairly decent in its own right. Team Sonic Racing is $12. Astroneer is $10.49. Resident Evil 6 is $5. Uh, Fallout 76 is $7.99. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart Digital Deluxe is $40. Bucks. Kind of pricey there. That is on Plus Extra. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, another COD game for $20. Bucks. Good campaign in that game, but uh, yeah, $20 is still kind of wild for these older COD games. Sonic Frontiers is $24. You guys know how I feel about that game. Awesome, awesome game. Excellent soundtrack, and it's just wild how like every Sonic game, no matter uh, if it's a trash game, it's always going to have a good soundtrack. But Sonic Frontiers and a trash game, it's a really, really well done game, and for $24, bucks, great pickup there. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 Remix. So obviously, as you guys probably know, these these games appreciated in price after they dropped it on Xbox and the Epic Game Store. Uh, but $19.99 for 1.5 and 2.5 isn't bad. It is on Plus Extra, but if you want to own the game, 1.5 includes Kingdom Hearts 1, Ray Chain of Memories, and then Kingdom and then 2.5 includes uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 and Birth by Sleep. So you're getting four games for 20 bucks, and that is a pretty good deal. There's some other superfluous stuff in there as well. But um, yeah, Kingdom Hearts is pretty good. Kingdom Hearts 1 certainly shows its age, but Kingdom Hearts 2 is still effing awesome, so... I would definitely recommend that. And some people, and a lot of people, actually like Kingdom Hearts 1 better than 2. Little Nightmares 2 is $9.89. Definitely a good pickup there. Little Nightmares 3 is uh, coming up here, uh, hopefully, in the next few months. Dragon Ball Fighters Fighters Edition is $14.24. Sonic Forces, $7.99. Goat Sim is $1.99. Harvest Moon The Winds of Anthos is $39.99. Quite pricey there. Uh, Control Ultimate Edition is $9.99. Control is awesome. And people are going to think I'm wild for saying this, but I did, in fact, like Control more than Alan Wake 2. I know that's like a wild statement given Alan Wake 2's reception, but I just could not get into Alan Wake 2 as much as most people, but loved Control. Resident Evil 2 is $9.99. Awesome remake. Definitely worthwhile. Devil May Cry HD Collection is $9.89. Mad Max is $4.99. Pretty good deal there for Mad Max. Final Fantasy 15 Royal Edition is $14. Look, I had my issues with Final Fantasy 15. 
I think from a narrative standpoint, it like completely fell apart, but the game itself is still pretty decent. The gameplay is really enjoyable. The soundtrack's great. The visuals are gorgeous. Runs well on the PS5 and just a solid game all around. If you go into it not expecting a blowaway story, uh, you'll still have fun with the gameplay and the road trip of vibe of the game, which I think a lot of people did enjoy. Resident Evil 4 OG is $4.99. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 Special Edition is $30. Bucks. You might be like, why is that $30? It's because there's a sizable amount of DLC with Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, and uh, the special edition includes all that. It's an enjoyable game. If you're a fan of Dragon Ball, you'll like it. I like the gameplay of it, and for 30 bucks, you know, with all the DLC, it's not horrible, but um, maybe just try and get the base game if the DLC doesn't interest you all that much. Uh, Doom Eternal Deluxe is $17.49. Diablo 2 Resurrected is $13.19, which is pretty good. Dying Light Definitive Edition is $9.99. Awesome deal for Dying Light 1. You guys know how I feel about that. Fantastic game. Think it's better than Dying Light 2, but I did dig Dying Light 2 as well. It's just Dying Light 1 had like 7 years of updates and was just a fantastic, fantastic game. Borderlands Game of the Year Edition is $9.89. That's Borderlands 2009. Good pick up there as well uh, for Borderlands 1. Worthwhile to go back and play that. Like, I had a great time with Borderlands 1 and I played that back in October of 2009 when it came out. And obviously have done subsequent playthroughs since then, but a great time. Leica Age Through Blood, 20% off for $16. This is in my to playlist. I gotta get around to this, but guys, look into this game. Gorgeous from a visual standpoint. Really cool uh, story backdrop as well. $16 for that. Uh, something to look at. Maybe not a deep enough discount, but definitely a game that is on my to playlist. Sega Genesis Classics, six bucks on that. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard is eight dollars. Exo Primal is 30, 50 percent off on that. Batman Arkham Knight Premium is six bucks. Chain Deco still holding up in price is $19.99. Um, great JRPG, very much a throwback, but still a little bit on the pricier side, but great game there. Uh, what else we got? Assetto Corsa Ultimate Edition is $9.99. Beyond Two Souls, $11.99. Danganronpa 1 and 2 Reload, $16. This one had its price appreciate as well. But uh, Danganronpa is awesome, and I highly recommend it. Like, Danganronpa 1 was one of those games I played on the Vita. And I remember thinking, like, yo, visual novel's not gonna be my cup of tea, but I was listening to a podcast at the time where uh, they were just constantly talking it up. And I was like, all right, let me give Danganronpa 1 a shot. My goodness, after playing that game for like 45 minutes, I was hooked and I completed the first game within the span of like two days. And that was like a 20 hour long game. It wasn't a short game, but I was just completely hooked. Uh, Dragon Ball Zeno versus $4. Monster to Rise is 20 bucks. Resident Evil Code Veronica X is $6. What else we got? Diablo 2, uh, Prime Evil Collection. Uh, that is 1979. Hammer Watch 2 on sale. Wolfenstein New Order at $4.99. Lord of the Rings Gollum, baby. 1979 on that. Helldivers uh, Super Earth Ultimate Edition, if you want to check that out before Helldivers 2, that's $16. Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown. Uh, Top Gun Maverick Ultimate Edition, $19.99. Darkest Dungeon is $4.99. Decent deal there for Darkest Dungeon. The Ancestral Edition uh, is $9.99. Jack 2, $7.49. Chernobylite is $11.99. Pretty good deal there. Evil Within 1 is 3 bucks, which is a really good deal. Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony is $16. Like a Dragon Ishin, 30 bucks on that. Kind of wish that was a little bit cheaper. Uh, I know at this point it's 11 months old, which I was about to say it's still a recent release, but I mean, it's coming up on a year old at this point. Would be nice to get it sub-20, but what can you do? Uh, Gravity Rush Remastered is $15. Gravity Rush is awesome. Go play that. Go play Gravity Rush 2. I think Sony should port those games to PC. Try to give those games as much attention as possible because they are criminally underrated. Uh, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax is $11.99. Hunting Sim is $1.99. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Extraction is $9.99. Synth Riders... $16 on that, Ad Infinitium, that's $24, that is a relatively recent release, DMC Double May Pride, $9.99 on that is a little pricey, uh, would be nice to see it at $5 or $7.49, somewhere around that, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, $3 on that is great, kind of an underrated game at this point, like, leading into the release of Catalyst, I had very high expectations, but um, it under-delivered, but at this point, for that price point, it's a great pickup, and I'd recommend it, uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is $12.49 for the Deluxe Edition, Deluxe Edition doesn't offer you much of anything, so I would probably just wait for the uh, base game to see a significant discount. Dying Light 2 Stay Human Deluxe is $44, still a hefty price point for that. Like, if it was like $30, bucks, I would say, hey, give that a look, but $44 is like really pricey. Naruto Storm 1 is $5. Bucks. Digimon Survive for $19.79 certainly isn't bad. A good pickup there. Uh, if you're into Digimon and you're into vi uh, visual novels, Code Vein is $9. Anime Aesthetic Souls, like, it's pretty good. 
So give that a look. Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy is $9.99. We see Naruto Storm Legacy. Did this get its price hiked up as well? $28 for this? What are we doing here? $28 for Storm Legacy? This has been like $11.99 before. What the hell? I have a physical copy of this and... And the physical copy came with like a steelbook and I paid $70 for that. But nonetheless, that was right at launch. Uh, this has been down to as low as $12. This should not be $28. Come on now. Um, but yeah, what can you do? My Hero Wants Justice is $9.99. Deathloop is $16. Uh, you got a Haze Light Bundle, 1979. That's It Takes Two and a Way Out. That's kind of pricey for the bundle. Homefront The Revolution for $1.99. Hey, Yakuza 3 Remastered is $4.99. Hopefully that means the other Yakuza titles are on sale. Dragon's Crown Pro, $3.99. That's a great deal. Kills on Shadowfall at $9.99. Definitely a good pickup there. Lost Judgment at $17.99 is great. Quantum Error, which just came out. That's $39.59. The base game for Lost Judgment is $17.99. The Digital Ultimate Edition is $22.49, which is actually quite nice because that includes the Kaito Files expansion, which is a good expansion that it typically goes for like $30. Uh, Little Nightmares 1 and 2, the bundle is $15. A DJ Max Respect a V, uh, that is $9.99. Awesome, awesome game. Great music rhythm game. I sunk a lot of hours into that when the world went to hell. Like, that was the game that I was playing the hell out of. Great soundtrack. Just bear in mind, music rhythm game, a lot of DLC there. Ghostwire Tokyo Deluxe is $26.39. Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8, 24 bucks there. Yakuza 5 is 5 bucks and Yakuza 4 is 5 bucks as well. Naruto Storm 2 is 5 bucks. If you want to pick one Storm game to get, Naruto Storm 2, in my opinion, is a really good one because it covers the best part of Naruto, beginning of Shippuden up until the fight with Pain, and it retells that story in the campaign mode really, really well. So I would say give that one a pickup and that's worthwhile. Vampire is $7.99. A lot of other deals are available on Give It, and I'll give it all a look. That's 11 pages of 61, so I got uh, quite the work cut out for me. Again, a lot of you guys own these games, but there's always going to be people coming in, watching the videos for the first time, and picking up some new stuff, so we'll do our typical coverage. But that's going to do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.